Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comments. Let me know your thoughts on the story. Now Birmingham is often described as energetic, loud and rough. It's not uncommon for strangers to become friends over a few drinks on a night out on Broad Street. But it's equally likely for a person, man, woman or child, to be stuck up and robbed in such a public spot like New Street Station in front of community support officers, or things like their wallet or vapes or trainers. People in Birmingham are always on guard because they know locals are not all there, they have a few screws loose. And the history for, in Britain's second largest city, is prevalent. Think about it. Now the fatal of 18-year-old Charlene Ellis and 17-year-old Letitia Shakespeare left Birmingham City stained with red. It was the fact that it was the first piece of evidence that fists or objects like poles and bats or wrenches were out of date, stale, no one was using them anymore. The realisation that street gangs can scope and access to submachines meant that the thirst for destruction was very real, and West Midlands police were not prepared. It actually changed the landscape and everything officers thought they knew about Johnson's and Burger Bar. It was January 2nd, 2003. Friends Charlene and Letitia Shakespeare had attended a New Year's party in Aston, Birmingham, at her home above a hair salon on Birchfield Road, along with Charlene's twin sister Sophie and their cousin Cheryl Shaw. A man by the name of Leon Harris was also in the vicinity at the New Year's party too. Now the New Year's party in Aston was supposed to be filled with jubilation, festivities, listening to music, drinking, socialising, bringing in another year together. Instead, there was a battle brewing. Members of Notorious Burger Bar had other intentions. At least four men lay in wait as people were leaving the party, mingling on Birchford Road at an estimated time of 4.30am. Charlene's twin sister Sophie, who was also struck, says that she noticed a red car mingling and crawling down the street. Now, respected Burger Bar GM Johan Martin is said to have been the reason why the New Year's took place in the first place. 24 year old Johan Martin was said to have been sitting in his car in West Bromwich High Street in December of 2002. An unknown car, which was later found to be stolen, had pulled up. 16 year old Kieran Richards, who was said to be a member of Johnson's crew, he was sitting in the passenger seat. He wound down the window, extended an arm and pointed a semi-automatic at Johan. Steadying his aim, he then pressed the trigger. Once, twice, three times, four times, five, six. The tragic incident was clinical and without remorse. Now what made it worse is the shooting took place in front of several people, which showed there was a greater emphasis of getting Johan than getting away. Now in typical gang culture, fashion, the unspoken truth was, any time a GM ended a rival, retribution would always follow. Now that brings us back to Charlene Ellis and Letitia Shakespeare's case. Armed with a Mac-10, 23-year-old Marcus Ellis, 21-year-old Tafara Beckford, 21-year-old Michael Gregory, 24-year-old Nathan Martin, and 19-year-old Rodrigo Sims were accused of travelling to Aston in a red car. Now the intended target was Johnson's GM, Jermaine Carty. In order to get that man down with a Mac-10, they sprayed over a dozen rounds into a crowd. Charlene Ellis and Letitia Shakespeare and Leon Harris were all struck, including Sophie, Charlene's twin sister. Now Marcus Ellis was actually the half-brother of Charlene Ellis. Now to think what would have gone through his mind when this happened, when he found out that he was allegedly responsible for the fatal of his own half-sister. Now tragically, Charlene Ellis and Letitia Shakespeare were pronounced dead. Now all four men were arrested and they were sentenced to life with the help of an anonymous witness, the first of its kind that was used successfully. All four men were found guilty of the M of both teenagers at Leicester Crown Court. Now Marcus Ellis, Michael Gregory and Nathan Martin 
were all sentenced to a minimum term of 35 years. Rodrigo Sims was sentenced to a minimum term of 27 years, and that was only due to his age at the time. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.